Welcome back to A A Q Bar. Is this an apple to eat, beat, or uh, solve? Watch this video to know what I'm going to do. Let's get started. The apple cube is the same to a three by three Rubik's cube. So first, you will need to know how to solve the three by three. So then you can move on to the apple cube. You can watch my video on how to do it. So here we will we'll solve it a little differently from the three by three. First, we'll have to make the cross plus the center plus orienting the center. If the centers are not right, then you might get some parities in the last layer. Then we'll put one edge, one edge and one corner together, and put them in the correct slot. And we'll do that four times around the cube. And then for last layer, we'll use the normal last layer algorithm. So let's get started by scrambling the cube up. Okay, now let's get started. So we are going to make the cross here. First, we need to orient the center. So like this center is not oriented. We need to twist. 180 degrees. We'll take out the edge. Then we'll line up the center so that the edge also will match the center. And then we'll insert the edge at the bottom. We'll do that some more times. So like this one, we can twist and then insert it again at the bottom. Now we have two more left. So we'll do the same. Twist the center and insert the piece. Pretty easy. Now we just have the last piece that's, that's just some moves away. So first we need to find it. And then insert it at the bottom. So here we have a cross. Now we are going to make already have a pair inserted. I'll show you how to do some more pairs. So first we'll pair these pieces up. Like here we have two pieces, the edge and the corner. We'll insert it with L prime U L. Here we have one more pair piece. We'll take it out of its slot. And then we'll insert it into the back this time because the front we will have to use we are going to insert it to the back. So for the back you need to do R prime U R. And then we have the last one. So for the last one it might be a little different. We will already not have it paired. You might need to pair it up. So like these two, they are not paired currently. They are mismatched. So we are just going to disconnect them. Now we have an easier case that we can this is still flipped or else we can just use the beginner's method here if you are not able to figure it out. Some cases for the cross, sometimes you can have an impossible last layer, 
like I currently have. So we just need to flip one of these edges. So you can flip one or you can, can swap one. Swapping actually will fix, fix the case. So we insert it into a different slot. And then we we'll, and then you might have all of them solved. So then you can do the normal last layer. So now we can insert it. bottom layer this one so we are just going to take it out insert it back back down and now then we can just do a normal step like we did okay now it's a possible last layer so there are some cases that you can get
pretty hard to tell if you twisted the corner. So now we are going to insert it. Okay, we flipped our edge. So now we have a possible. This video request was from one of my YouTube friends Ashraj. Big shout out to you Ashraj. Make sure to give me a like, subscribe and comment.